Today we will introduce a new simulation model for teaching postpartum tubal ligations. This video is brought to you by Amy Johnson and Elizabeth Deckers from the UConn OBGYN Residency Program. Postpartum tubal ligations are an effective method of sterilization and provide patients with the convenience of undergoing the procedure without prolonging their admission. We have found our model to be a highly effective and safe method to introduce the postpartum tubal ligation to our junior residents. All of the supplies necessary to build the model are available at your local craft or dollar store. The supplies needed include a piece of fun foam, cotton stuffing, pipe cleaners, felt, which is preferably pink or red, packing tape, nylon pantyhose, plastic wrap, scissors, and a plastic bin, preferably with openings on the side. First, a postpartum uterus is built. Next, pipe cleaners are used to simulate the round ligament. We found for that the size of our bin, one pipe cleaner was not long enough. Therefore, we twisted two together. Note, a long, thin piece of felt could also be cut to simulate a round ligament. We also like to make sure that the color of the materials used for the round ligament and the fallopian tube are the same, so that the surgeon cannot use color to differentiate between the two. Felt is then cut into the shape of the fallopian tubes, being sure to cut slits into the end of each to represent tubal fimbria. The tubes in round ligament are then taped to the uterine fundus using packing tape. Next, a large piece of plastic wrap is cut. It should be large enough to wrap around both sides of the model. The plastic wrap is then carefully placed around the uterus and molded to roughly recreate the uterine serosa, mesosalpinx, and broad ligament. The model is then placed into the plastic bin with the pipe cleaner round ligaments protruding through the handles. The pipe cleaners are then firmly taped to the side of the bin on both sides. The end of the nylon uterus is then taped to the base of the bin. Much like a real postpartum uterus, the model should have some mobility. Next, the foam sheet is taped over the top of the bin to recreate an abdominal wall. Be sure to tape it firmly to both sides. A pen or marker can be used to sketch in an umbilicus and infra-umbilical incision. The openings on the sides of the bin are helpful to visually estimate where to sketch in your incision site. We are now ready to begin our simulation. All that is needed is your standard postpartum tubal ligation set. An incision is made with the scalpel. The resident is then instructed on how to place the disposable self-retaining retractor. In our practice, the use of the self-retaining retractor increases exposure and ease of the procedure. Babcocks are then used to gently grasp the fallopian tube and walk it out to the fimbriated end. 
Since the model is lightweight, an assistant can tilt the model as needed to simulate Trendelenburg and or an airplaning motion typically used intraoperatively. Babcocks are then used to walk the tube back to an appropriate location for ligation. Of note, both the modified Pomeroy or Parkland method of ligation can be used with this model. In fact, we typically ask our interns to perform the modified Pomeroy on one side and the Parkland method on the other side. Interns are often first assistants for postpartum tubal ligations, and it may be one of the first surgical procedures that they learn. As experienced OBGYNs know, the postpartum fallopian tube can be edematous, highly vascular, and easily damaged during these procedures if excessive force is applied. In addition, the round ligament can easily be mistaken for the fallopian tube if proper surgical technique is not followed. We have found that this model is an effective method to teach our residents how to place and remove the self-retaining retractor, how to appropriately place and reposition Babcock clamps, how to correctly identify the fallopian tubes, how to properly throw square knots, and even the benefits of patient positioning. Each of these models can be made in less than five minutes and for only a few dollars. Of note, many of the elements of the model can be reused, further decreasing the already low cost. We hope that you found this video to be helpful and share it with your colleagues as an effective, simple, and inexpensive way to teach the postpartum tubal ligation. We appreciate your attention and look forward to any questions that you may have.